Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite channel, Loris Places and People. In today's video, we are going to explore the wonders of the Portuguese economy. Portugal as you already know is a country on the western edge of Western Europe. As of 2023, the economy of Portugal is the 15th largest in Europe by nominal gross domestic product with a value of $267 billion. Portugal's GDP has experienced steady growth in recent years, positioning it as one of the fastest growing economies in the European Union. It is a mixed economy with the tertiary sector currently being the most important sector and representing 75.8% of the entire gross domestic product and employing 68.1% of the working population. It is followed by the industry sector, which represents 21.9% of the gross value added, employing 24.5% of the working population. Fisheries and agriculture which represented 25% of the economy in 1960 had a sharp decline and now only representing 2.4% of the gross value added and employing 7.5% of the working population. The tertiary sector includes key services like tourism and hospitality, finance, transportation, education, telecommunications, and energy. Tourism in Portugal has developed significantly, generating 17.3% of GDP in 2017 to reach 21.5% of GDP in 2019. In 2017, the number of foreign tourists jumped 12% to 12.7 million. Including domestic tourists, the total is about 21 million. In the energy sector, Portugal has become the sixth largest producer of renewable energy in Europe despite its smaller size in population and economy. Along with the traditional hydroelectric energy, Portuguese companies, including the biggest one in the country, EDP, and with the support of the government have heavily invested in new kinds of renewable energy, and by 2010, 52% of the energy produced in Portugal was renewable. This jumped to 61.7% in 2013 and 70% by 2020. Fossil fuels are still the source of 30% or the energy produced, but the trend is to diminish. In 2013, the increase in the production of clean energy helped to save 806 million euros in the imports of fossil fuels and CO2 emission licenses. In May 2016, Portugal became the second country in the world to be able to have all its energy consumption fully covered by renewable energy alone, for four consecutive days. In the 1970s, the country abandoned the plan to install nuclear plants and opted not to invest in nuclear power, so there are no such plants in Portugal. In the Portuguese financial market, the major stock exchange is the Euronext Lisbon which is part of Euronext, the major pan-European group of stock exchanges. It is supervised and regulated by the Portuguese Securities Market Commission. The SI20 is Portugal's most selective and widely known stock index. Portuguese banks hold strategic stakes in other sectors of the economy, including the insurance sector. Overall, Portugal's financial system is sound, well-managed, and competitive. The insurance sector has performed well, partly reflecting a rapid deepening of the market in Portugal. Worth to notice is also TAP Portugal, a company often used by transit passengers traveling between Europe, Africa and Latin America, mainly Brazil, which is particularly regarded by its safety record. The industry and manufacturing sector is the second largest sector by GDP contribution and second largest employer in Portugal. The automotive industry is a major player, with several renowned manufacturers having production facilities in Portugal. Companies like Volkswagen, Renault, and Peugeot produce a range of vehicles, including passenger cars and commercial vehicles. The textile and clothing industry is another vital component of Portugal's manufacturing sector. The country is known for its high-quality textiles, including fabrics, garments, and home textiles. Prominent companies include Textil Manuel Goncarves, Textesh Penedo, and Calvalex. Portugal's footwear industry has gained international recognition for its craftsmanship and design. Companies such as Echo, Fly London, and Grupo Procalcado manufacture and export a wide range of footwear, including shoes, boots, and sandals. 
The cork industry holds a prominent position in Portugal, as the country is the largest producer of cork worldwide. Major companies like Amarim, Cortecaira Amarim, and Cork Supply produce cork products used in various sectors, including wine stoppers, flooring, and insulation materials. Portugal is also a significant producer of electrical equipment and appliances. Companies such as Bosch, Siemens, and EFACEC manufacture electrical machinery, lighting fixtures, household appliances, and renewable energy solutions. The metalworking industry in Portugal is diverse, encompassing sectors such as steel production, metal fabrication, and machinery manufacturing. Major companies include Siderurgia Nacional, Autocampo Stainless, and a Silva Matos Metalomecanica. The food and beverage industry is another thriving sector, with companies like Geronimo Martins, owner of the supermarket chain Pingo Dos, Sumol Plus Compel, Beverages, and Sovina, Olive Oil, playing key roles. Portugal's pharmaceutical and biotechnology sector has seen significant growth, with companies like Bial, Hovioni, and Blue Pharma involved in the development and manufacturing of pharmaceutical products and active ingredients. Agriculture in Portugal is based on small to medium-sized family-owned dispersed units. However, the sector also includes larger-scale intensive farming export-oriented agrobusinesses are backed by companies like Sovina, Lactogal, Vale da Rosa, Grupo Iars Viticus. Portugal has got a big presence of cooperative farming which is growing larger and of more importance especially with increase in globalization over the last two decades. Forestry has also played an important economic role in rural communities and industry, most specifically the paper industry. The engineered wood industry includes Sona Industria, and the furniture industry that includes several manufacturing plants in and around Pacos de Ferreira, the core of Portugal's major industrial operations of IKEA. Portugal is among the top 10 largest olive oil producers in the world and is the fourth biggest exporter. The country is also one of the world's largest exporters of wine, being reputed for its fine wines. As of May 2023 THE largest companies by valuation in Portugal are EDP Renovaves, SA is the most valuable company in Portugal with its market capitalization of $21.8 billion. EDP, ENERGIAS de Portugal, SA is the second most valuable company, towering at a $20.4 billion valuation. Geronimo Martins, SGPS, SA with a market cap of $13.8 billion. GALP Energia, SGPS, SA with a market cap of $8.8 .8 billion. Today Portugal is fast becoming a haven for new businesses. There are immense opportunities in the fields of medicine, information technology, agriculture, finance, and tourism. These opportunities are unique to Portugal because of its location as a European Union country, lower cost of doing business compared to its neighbors in Western Europe and a growing cosmopolitan population in Portugal's big cities which brings together a lot of talent from all over the world. Here are some exciting startups in Portugal that we have selected. Unbabel is a Portuguese startup revolutionizing the world of online translation, delivering quality translations through a combination of AI technology and human quality regulators, in order to provide fast services for businesses. They have headquarters in Lisbon and San Francisco. The Portuguese startup, Codac, performs a vital service. Its software reviews code for small errors that would otherwise have to be fixed by coders, saving hours of work. They have big clients such as Adobe, Deliveroo and PayPal. TMRW Sports is a startup that was founded in 2021. The first company on our list of Portuguese startups to follow in 2023 is the sports venture startup TMRW Sports. It is also known as Just TMRW. The company uses technology and industry knowledge to create better approaches to sports, media, and entertainment. Promptly is another a startup in Portugal. It was founded in 2018. This startup is a health data analytics company that collects, integrates, and analyzes data. It works with partnerships healthcare organizations to be the spearheads of a better healthcare system that works for its customers. The service allows you to track treatments and follow up with your results. It also allows you to monitor your condition easily and make it shareable with your doctor. 
This process also allows clinicians to receive real-time, up-to-date information about their patients. Another startup that could be worth keeping an eye on in 2023 is the Portuguese startup Rely.io. It is also known as Detec. AI This company is powered by artificial intelligence and is a monitoring platform that helps organizations or businesses to understand their IT operations. It turns complex or confusing data into understandable information that can be acted upon. The platform helps its businesses stay connected with their own customers by analyzing data that explains behaviors. This way, businesses can keep on top of their IT operations and sort technical problems to help them grow. So that's it for today folks, please let us know what you would like to know about Portugal and we will bring you information about it. Please subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video in which we shall be showing the best places to holiday in Portugal. Thank you for watching and see you soon.